in the assignment level 2 we have to create a resume which looks something like this all right so to create this layout i have taken a folder inside the same folder introduction that is assignment level 2 so i have already opened the assignment level 2 folder inside my code editor inside this we have uh, inside this we have an index.html and style.css and inside the index.html we have our standard html document and inside our body right now we don't have anything so our page looks something like this here that is empty and inside the css file we don't have anything yet all right so let's get started so we will start from here from the top obviously so inside the body the very first thing we'll take a header tag uh, i haven't discussed about header section and there are many structure based elements but soon we will be discussing about these all things structure based elements are some semantic tags which provides real meaning to our page so for the best practice i'll be using structure based elements if you guys haven't used these structure based elements there is no problem for now it's okay so let's get our peter mullins here so we will use a one h1 tag inside this we will write peter mullins after this we have email as well as address so to so to display this we will use p tag here let's write this peter dot mullins at the gmail.com slash roster new york so all right so i have already here so let's copy and paste and then let's see what we have so after this header part we are starting with the new section from here up to here we can say all right so we will use one section tag after header and inside the section let's write each and everything we have experience that is another heading level then we have senior front-end developer that is another heading level and then we have few paragraphs all right so very first thing we will use now h2 tag we have already used one h1 tag so we cannot use more than once h1 tag on a page so from here i will start either h2 h3 h4 or so on all right so for the experience let's write let's use h2 experience then thereafter maybe h3 again then senior front-end developer front-end developer yeah all right and then after we have different different paragraphs so we will use paragraph tag for all these text all right so if you use p tag here then i will just we have i have already all these texts here so i'll just copy and paste all right next again all right so inside this section we are done with the experience senior front-end developer that these all paragraphs all right so we have all these things now we will just uh, save our file and let's check out our page here so let's give it a refresh here so we have peter mullins then paragraph experience uh, senior front-end developer then these all paragraphs here all right so now what do we need so we need a front-end developer here then again same some paragraph here so let's get our again h3 tag so here front end developer okay then again few paragraphs here all right again i will copy and paste all this text here All right, we are done with the again front-end developer part then we have front-end developer intern 
so again i will just copy and paste this text here again all right so again we will take again h3 tag not inside the paragraph but here h3 tag then we will say frontend developer enter frontend developer enter all right so again let's just copy and paste all this text all this paragraph here all right so what we have all right now we are done with the front end developer internals so, so we are almost done with the first section then we will have another section with the skills then we will have one footer here with the connect so let's get started with the section 2 here so we have a skill section here so after this section we will start another section here then take h2 here for the skills as well as then we have few paragraph we, we will use this html css react javascript photoshop illustrator inside paragraph so let's take html all right we are done up to here also then we have next that is our footer here don't worry we will learn about all these header section footer these all structure based elements so we have footer here inside this footer we have connect and few links so here we have again h2 we will keep connect inside it then we have different different anchor tag actually so let's keep it empty for now if something is if the anchor tag is empty you can keep it empty with the hash value for the href all right so we have twitter linkedin instagram and facebook here so we'll just copy and paste how many times we need four times all right so here we have facebook Twitter, then Instagram, and then we have we have next LinkedIn. We left LinkedIn. I should be capital. Yeah. All right. So we are done with the content part. We have taken each and everything from top to bottom. Everything is here. Now let's save our file and then give it a refresh here. All right. We have everything here. We have the heading part here from peter mullins then email and all then we have experience senior front-end developer front-end developer front-end developer intern then skills and thereafter we have connect with different different anchor tag all right our content part is over right now the HTML, uh, you can say the html part is over then we need to style it so we have a different background here then color of the text are something different so let's go ahead first inside the css file let's target our body we will first change the background color here all right so we will go to the style.css and then body then inside the curly braces change the background color well, this is the background color code actually and then we have we will define color for each and every text here only so each and every text will inherit the color actually we need white color white save our file and give it a refresh here all right so no changes so i haven't connected i think style.css yet here let's check out so we don't have anything style.css so let's connect it using link tag then style.css save our file now give it a refresh here we can see the background color of the body is changed now as well as the text color are also changed but the text color of these links are not changed it's just because anchor tag has its own color that is blue 
so it never inherits color from its parent or from the body or from anywhere it will have its own color so if we want to change the color of anchor tag we will have to target individually to change the anchor tag color we will target our anchor tag so now inside the curly braces let's define color maybe red here save our file actually we have red here yeah we have red now save our file and give it a refresh here great we can see the color of the anchor tag is also changed now it's just that we have to target individually all right so everything is done here uh, we just need to change the color of these headings so we have taken all this green color inside our h2 tag actually so if we target h2 tag i think each and every h2 color will be changed so let's define color inside the curly braces and the code of the color for the h2 is something like this all right now save our file give it a refresh here so we have here the color of the heading for the experience skills as well as connector change now so now let's see what do we need all right on this page right now we have almost everything and we have also a style according to our design here few things we are left uh, there is there are some spacing between the sections as well as heading so for that purpose we will have to learn about uh, box model actually to apply margin padding as well as border and all so we don't have to worry for now that is this is fine this is no need to require these all things and for the font family later on we will learn how to attach font family on our page all right so far so good